Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. For this video, we'll be going through an unboxing and review of the Pop Vinyl This Is Fine Dog. And this is part of the Pop Icons range. And being a Pop Vinyl, this has been released by Funko. And I believe it was from 2021. I think. It's been a while. So it's been a little while since I've actually done a pop vinyl unboxing and review so I thought I would go back to the standard size pops and uh, start making my way through them. So an iconic pop vinyl, the This Is Fine Dog. So for those who are familiar with it I'm sure you know exactly what particular me, I dare say, this comes from. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with it, you will be soon. So here we have the front of the box in the usual pop vinyl layout, standard um, plastic see-through window, um, graphic of the pop vinyl, the actual pop vinyl itself, and the label of the pop vinyl. So he does look pretty cool. I mean, yeah. How could you say no? In terms of the rest of the box, so we have the usual top of the box with a shot of his head. Um, for those who needed a bit of a clue as to what this is from, that is pretty much exactly what this is from. That's the one side of the box and then the other just has another look through to the pop vinyl uh, with the label. And in terms of the back of the box, we just have a nice shot of this is fine uh, with the pop vinyl as opposed to the actual dog. So yes, that is pretty much this particular pop vinyl. Um, I quite enjoy the main, hence why I'm holding the pop vinyl of it um, to the point that in my previous workplace I did have a print off of the actual main. Um, uh, tacked to one of the partition sideboards because yes it had relevance still has relevance um, I haven't hit the need to do it in my current workplace but uh, we'll see we'll see so now that we've had a look at the outside of the box I will open up the box and we will have a better look at the pop vinyl and I'm actually not sure if he's actually going to have a bit of a included scenic background. I guess we'll find out shortly. Looks like it does, but um, yeah, we shall see. So with the dog outside of the box. Yes, he does have a little scenic background. So there's the pop vinyl, there's the scenic background. It's just um, a nice piece of card with the background. And it's we are very well accustomed to and in terms of pop vinyl he just sits quite happily there now I suspect what I will probably do is I think I will probably put him back in the box because I mean depending what you do you would have to lean that backboard against something to really maximize the look and feel of the dog sitting in the burning room. In terms of the vinyl, that is what we have. A nice shot of the dog sitting in his chair that is unfortunately on fire, uh, holding his uh, cup of coffee with the words, this is why. So that's the front side the back and the other side so being a pop vinyl there is no articulation of any of the pieces well definitely not for this one so uh, don't try to rotate his head off you will be in for a bad day in terms of how they've done him I think they've done him quite well it's obviously very true to the meme and I do like how with the chair they've even included some of these uh, 
little flame effects on the chair. Very, very cool. And of course, just having that cup with the wording on it just adds in that extra novelty behind it. Definitely one of those cool pop vinyls. Um, yeah, it's, I actually wouldn't mind keeping it out of the box, but I do want to figure out how to do the keep the card. I mean, the card itself, um, it's obviously just background image of the smoke, the flames on the floor. Uh, but the two together really do make the scene, so it's hard to do one without the other. So. I mean, it was okay in the box, uh, but the background wasn't clearly noticeable, so it would be nice to uh, do something else unless... Putting the dog back in the clamshells, not that difficult, so maybe getting one of those clear cases is actually a way to go about it, because you can at least see the card. I'll have to have a look at, into that, because uh, I think that might be a good idea. So overall, thoughts? It's a pop vinyl. They are purely for, you know, eye, not eye candy, but purely visual item. You obviously don't sit there and play with it to the end of time. I'm very happy with what they've done to make this particular pop vinyl. Um, the look is there, the colours are there, within reason, um, being a pop vinyl. And the cardboard background is a very nice added touch. So I have a feeling this pop vinyl is still around. I mean, it's only a year old. You may have to go looking for it. Um, but for anyone who <laughs> appreciates the meme and who didn't, um, yes, feel free to grab one. Um, if I can actually put it into a plastic... Uh, casing or box with the background I'd be very inclined to take it to work yes it'll be weird but I have my own desk so it's okay um, it'll have one of those uh, little hidden meaning type things but it's all good so yes definitely a very solid pop vinyl um, I would definitely recommend anyone who would love to get one to get one um, and I'm sure there are plenty of people who already own it because they were probably like me and said yep you're an auto grab I'm just grabbing you um, and here we are today finally actually taking the thing out of the box to have a better look thank you very much for watching this very well relatively quick and easy um, unboxing and review of the This Is Fine dog. After all, this is fine. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link below. And on that note, I will also try and do a quick YouTube short uh, for this. Um, with some nice little background music and a bit of a spin table or turntable, more to the point um, just for some nicer shots stay safe and take care everyone and I will catch you all in the next video see ya